after a nice fun trip in Paris, we we took a flight and we landed in this lovely town called Nice. It's in the south of France and my friend Bero did a fabulous job of getting this Airbnb apartment which is like bang opposite the promenade. You can see the sea here. It is absolutely gorgeous and we can't couldn't have asked for a better place. I have a small surprise lined up for my friends and for that we need to head back to the airport again. Uh, I will show you what this is all about. And it's gonna be fun, trust me. And the surprise is this beautiful black convertible Mini Cooper, which we're gonna use for the next few days. Uh, once I figure out how to use the convertible part of it, that is. Driving here in Europe is absolutely a breeze. You know, if you've driven in Bombay, you can drive anywhere in the world is what I feel. People are so polite and so courteous on the road. Our here is a different story, a different story. If the car has seen us that we have to cross the car, then they also run the car faster. You know, just to ensure that we don't cross the road. So... <laughs> Nice is so pretty, there's so much beauty around the beaches, the architecture, but leaving all that aside, my friend Veronica wanted to record her own face, which is uh, fair enough, I guess. I mean, what do you do sitting at the back seat of a car anyway? So we were heading to a restaurant nearby, which is by the beach, and it was supposedly a very good restaurant. We've done our dinner here, the view was amazing, the food was amazing, and tomorrow we are thinking of heading to Monaco, so let's see how that goes. I'm a filmmaker. Like I, oh, really? Uh, yeah. So we were walking on the beach of Monaco and mm -hmm. we didn't realize that well, while we were walking past this one strip, there was this guy who is incredibly famous, who is one of the biggest tennis players in the world, Mr. Novak Djokovic, who was playing with his son on the beach and we didn't want to be like all rude and you know go and take photos without his knowledge and so we refrained from it but it was one of the coolest experiences of our life. We said hi to him and we, we walked away and that was it. Monaco was amazing, we are on our way back now but what I am excited about is my skydiving experience tomorrow in Cannes, uh, it's gonna be amazing, watch out for it. The guy jumping from there, yeah, doesn't look scary at all, not terrifying at all. 
Anyway, this place is uh, located in the south of France, uh, somewhere in Cannes. It's called Le Loup, and uh, the place is called Skydiving France. And uh, it's going to be a fun experience, by the looks of it, at least. And uh, you know, don't forget to watch my next vlog uh, if I survive this. See ya.